people are talking a lot about resilience, about pivoting, about adaptation, endurance, survival, thriving. There are so many different words being used to try to describe what it is that we need as creative entrepreneurs in order to um, participate in this economy, the reality that we're experiencing right now, and to do it in such a way that we end up having some optimism and some confidence about our future. That's the conversation we're going to have today on Coaching for Creatives. I am your host, Aura McKay. I'm also the founder of Business of Creativity. And I wanted to have this conversation because, uh, well, first of all, I'm hearing the word resilience a lot. And I wanted to just explore that and get curious about whether or not resilience is really the thing that we need right now. So um, I'll put it out to you, especially if you're watching live or on the replay, what do you think that we need right now um, in order to be able to move forward with optimism and confidence in our creative businesses and even in our lives? I mean, we have um, experienced a significant change in our circumstance. And one of the things that we kind of all know about change is that change is usually uncomfortable. It usually involves some amount of discomfort when we experience change. And especially when we have um, change that we that's not self-generated. It's not based on a choice or a decision that we've made when it comes from external circumstances and it feels like it's kind of forced upon us. That can feel super uncomfortable and super disruptive. So a lot of people are using the word resilience to talk about how to respond to change. And I'm curious. Is it really resilience that we need? Is resilience the key? And so I did a little bit of searching and I, um, I checked out, cause I like to go to the dictionary. I think words matter and impact us. And, uh, and I looked up like, what does resilient actually mean? And uh, one of the things that it means is to bounce back from or to return to an original form. And I think that this is really critical in our understanding of what does it take for us personally, as creatives, as entrepreneurs, to bounce back, to return to original form. So my experience of this is usually around when I get an email or a phone call or you know something like that where somebody, um, maybe something negative has happened or you know my plans have changed or it's kind of thrown off my day. And I have in that moment, two choices, I can be resilient from the impact of that conversation or that sort of negative um, experience, or I can choose to surrender to that experience and get taken out of my day. So most of the time when I am practicing resilience, how I'm practicing resilience is bouncing back from a uh, temporary or short-term or minor disruption to my day, my life, my plans. Sometimes even a major disruption, but usually it's temporary. It's something that happens and then it's over. And then after it's over, I get to bounce back or return to my original form. So gang, I really feel like using the word resilient is no longer applicable to our current circumstances. And if we really, what we really want is we want to feel hopeful, optimistic, and confident about our future, then maybe trying to practice resilience isn't the thing we need to fake, focus on. So what else might be the key to moving forward with optimism and with confidence? I looked at some other words and I looked up endurance, and survival and adaptability. So I'm curious, is there any of these words that resonate with you? What do you talk about when you say how you're approaching business these days? Do you talk about I'm being um, resilient, I'm pivoting, I'm adapting, I'm enduring, I'm surviving? Um, 
I'm drowning. Like, what kind of language are you using to talk about your circumstance? And what what do you what do you use to talk about um, the key to your your success? Like, what do you think you need to be practicing in order to make it through um, to have that experience of optimism and confidence? Is it adaptability? I think it might be. Because one of the things about endurance is I think we are currently experience endurance. Endurance and survival is about duration and a long period of time or a sustained circumstance that is usually painful. So I don't think that we're in a place of practicing resilience. I think we've moved beyond resilience, we've moved into endurance. And now how can we move from that sense of duration of pain or long-term pain into an opportunity to breathe, a feeling of optimism and confidence. So I propose to you that adaptability may be the thing to focus on in order to shift some of the constraints some of the pessimism, some of the self-doubt, some of the um, worry and anxiety about future to start looking at instead of how do I bounce back from, how do I return to where I was six months ago, nine months ago, and how do I, instead of having that conversation, to start looking at how can I adapt my business, my business model, my offers, Maybe my pricing structure, how I approach marketing, my marketing strategy. How can I adapt this to the current circumstances? So I just had a, a pretty uh, powerful meeting with my business coach and we were looking at uh, all of the plans that I had made for 2021 in terms of the, uh, the timing of when, am, when are the business of creativity programs going to be offered, what's going to be included in the framework program, the pricing program, the marketing program, what will the duration be. And I had done a bunch of work on trying to kind of bounce back to my original plan for business of creativity and my original vision for business of creativity. I was trying to be resilient with our current economy and pandemic kind of um, emotional um, zeitgeist, the emotional quotient of, of our today's economy. I was trying to be resilient and get back to the place that I was and our economy was when I first designed my business. And we're not there anymore. And it doesn't actually make sense for me to be resilient and to try to get back to where my business was nine months ago or a year ago when I designed it in the first place. It makes more sense for me to pay attention to, oh, what are the current circumstances and how can I adapt? So um, adaptability is about adjusting or changing according to the environment. Pivoting is about turning completely or com changing direction, where adapting is about adjusting and changing according to the current environment. So I invite you to try on the word of being adaptable or practicing adaptability in your life and in your business. And how that works is you just look around and look at what is. What are the current circumstances? So the current circumstances are, I have to wear a mask everywhere I go. Great, so how can I adapt to that? I can have lots of different masks, masks that I love. I can create masks as a fashion statement. I can change how I feel about them. I can make it easy for myself. There's lots of ways that I can adapt to the current circumstance of having to wear a mask. Adapting my business, I can adapt my training programs to be in smaller bite-sized chunks so that people have the emotional and mental bandwidth to be able to work through them in a meaningful way. I can adapt the timing of things to work differently with people's schedules have changed with more work from home, more um, homeschooling, those kinds of things. So gang, instead of just being resilient, which is temporarily suffering through a short-term change in our circumstance. Instead, 
I invite you to try on being adaptable and the practice of adapting to the current circumstances instead of trying so hard to bounce back to what was. So I'm curious on your thoughts. Have you been putting up with? Have you been enduring? How, what is your experience like? What is the language that you would use to describe how you have been operating your life and business? And what is the language you would like to use to describe how you'd like to move forward into the new year? For me, I have been being resilient. I'm going to move forward into adaptability and I'm going to embrace the new year with optimism and confidence. So if you'd like to join me with that, I actually am doing a um, live delivered workshop, two dates. One of them is tomorrow, immediately Wednesday, December 30th. And the other one is on January 16th. The program is called Focus, Clarity and Action. And it will help you to adapt your current goals and business to the current reality and be able to move forward with optimism and confidence. So I will post a link for you. And in the meantime, I hope that you have a very um, happy new year and an incredible weekend. And I will see you again next week on Coaching for Creatives. My name is Aura McKay. I'm the founder of Business of Creativity. Thank you so much and have a great week.